Hi and welcome to my channel. Look, I've got good news today. Just the sort of news that I'd like to share with you because the UK government has officially made an announcement regarding the fruit, vegetable, farming, horticulture, as well as the poultry industry and recruitment of overseas workers to work in this particular sector for the 2023 season. As you know, recruitment of unskilled workers in the UK is something that is massive. And the reason why it's so amazing is because you don't need any degrees, you don't need any qualifications, you don't need any educational you know, requirements whatsoever to move to the UK through this unskilled worker visa. So it is an excellent opportunity for anybody who is not like a nurse, you know, a doctor or pharmacist that has a, you know, registration that is normally needed for most of the skilled worker pathways so in this video i'm going to be explaining to you what this new announcement is when recruitment is going to start what you need in order to apply what you're going to be getting for this season what the changes are and look just everything really that you need to know so this is amazing good news and please you know if you're new to my channel obviously you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber i do appreciate the time you take to watch these videos and i hope that you're implementing everything because look i'm all about implementation 2023 it's not about hearing information, it's implementing everything. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, look, you do want to hit subscribe right now. Turn on that notification button so you're the first person to be notified when I drop a new video on here. And look, before I get started, let me say this. If you haven't got your international passport and you're thinking of moving to any country, it doesn't have to be the UK. Look, if you don't have your passport yet, you need to get your passport ASAP, as in today. After watching this video, go and apply for the passport because that's the first thing that you need if you're thinking of traveling overseas. Because I've had people who have been applying for jobs, they've had job interviews and they've got no passport. So you need to do that. And if you've already got your passport, I want you to leave a comment in the comment section and say, Melvis, I've got my passport and look, I'm going to implement all of what you're saying. So like I've said, you're welcome to my channel. And... Look, the good news really for today is that the UK government has approved 45,000 visas for unskilled workers just for the farming industry, the horticulture industry, the poultry industry in the UK for 2023. That is massive because 2022, you know, they actually gave out just over 30,000 visas to unskilled workers. And look, if you miss that particular period, this year, you don't want to miss it. And I'm here to make sure that I give you all of that information so that you don't miss the opportunity this year. Because like I'm saying, you know, it's only specific periods of the year. So if you check the comment section below, I've left a link to my newsletter. If you join that newsletter, then I'm going to make sure that I send that information directly to your inbox so that you don't miss out on recruitment. I'm going to send you who is recruiting for this year. You know, the link know for who is recruiting and i'm also going to send to you all the requirements obviously when the recruitment actually starts so if you check the comment section below you're going to see a link to my newsletter all you need to do is join the newsletter or obviously you can join you know you can subscribe to the channel as well but it's not very reliable because with the youtube algorithm even if i drop the video you may end up missing it because it's like a yo-yo kind of thing so you do want to make sure that you 100 percent join that newsletter so also one of the things that the government has announced which is absolutely amazing is that you know all the people that move to the uk through the unskilled worker pathway for 2023 are going to be guaranteed 100 percent guaranteed at least 32 hours per week of work the reason why this has come about is because last year and the last few years actually some of the people that have left from their home countries and traveled to the uk they've actually not had enough work to do and um, because you know this is a visa that is very very you know specific for a specific period of time it's very disheartening when you've left your home you've come to a country and they haven't actually got enough work for you so the government this year has said for 2023 season all the workers that come on this visa are going to be guaranteed 32 hours per week so whether you actually work or not you're going to be guaranteed 32 hours a week which is absolutely amazing one of the changes that the government has also made is that all these workers are going to be paid a living wage which means that you're not just paid the minimum wage but you're paid a living wage again this has come about because again, last season, there were so many challenges. And one of the things that have actually happened, by the way, in case you're watching this and you're thinking, oh my God, who is this? So my name is Melvis. I work in England as an advanced nurse practitioner. So I have a private career coaching service where I support with career progression in the UK. I support with getting visa sponsorship you know, jobs in the UK. So if you're somebody who is keen on moving to the UK or you're already in the UK and you're thinking, oh my goodness, Melvis, I've got family back home. I've got myself. I'm trying to get, you know, 
a UK visa sponsorship. I'm trying to swap my job. I'm trying to progress in my career. You know what they're trying to get into healthcare because as you know, healthcare has the best opportunities in the UK. No bias at all that I'm a nurse practitioner, but look, this is the simple fact. So again, if you check the about section of this YouTube channel, you're going to see a link to my private coaching program. And by all means, do join if you need my support. Because as you know, I bring all these videos on YouTube, which is great. But if you need that individualized support, if you need that personalized support, then 100%, you do need to be part of my private coaching program so that we have that time. Because what this does is that it helps me to kind of narrow down, you know, my attention, my support, and my time, most importantly. Because as you know, time, I don't even want to say time is money but look time is more important for me right now at this stage than money because i've got more things to do than i've ever got the time and so what i do is i narrow down my time to only supporting people that are part of my private coaching program on a one-to-one -one basis on a personalized basis because if you have to answer everybody's question about all their situation try to understand it's just not possible so what you if you've got any questions do leave them in the comment section below. I'm going to reply because then if any other person had the same question, they can easily see it. But if you need that individualized support, that one-to-one -one support, like I've said, then you do need to be part of a private coaching program because, you know, that is how I manage my time. Otherwise, it would be impossible to live, breathe, work or do anything at all. So again, you want to check the about section you know, of this channel to, to see that. But you can also feel free to join my newsletter. Obviously, my newsletter is free every single day. You know, if you check the comment section below, you see a link to my newsletter. If you join the newsletter, then obviously, you know, I'm going to send that information anyway to you when it comes out. So like I've said, you know, so many things happened during the last season that the government has learned from it. And one of the things that is really good about the UK government is that when things go wrong, they are willing and able to learn and try to change for the next time. So the government has also announced that even though they have approved 45,000 visas, so look, if you're watching this right now, we've still got time before recruitment actually starts. And in fact, I don't know what I've said this, but recruitment for this actually starts on the 1st of April this year. So that's 1st of April, 2023. Recruitment is going to officially start. And the government has said that if there is the need, they have 10,000 extra visas that, you know, they can approve to get more workers. Because again, last year, they gave over 30,000 visas and these visas were not enough, you know. There was more work than there were people that moved to the UK. So obviously, there's been so many problems, so many challenges. And also, one of the main recruiters of this particular visa has been dropped. So the UK has taken, the government has taken away their ability to recruit from overseas through this particular visa. Which means that this year, again, I'm going to be looking out for the new people that are going to win this contract, that are going to be awarded this contract to recruit. So and when I find out, if you're part of my newsletter, I'm going to let you know. If you're part of my private coaching program, then I'm going to support you you know, through that process so that you can apply and make sure that you're the first person to apply to guarantee you actually being successful and moving to the UK because this visa is an amazing way to move to the UK. It doesn't matter whether you're already working wherever you are or you're just like, hmm, let me just see what it's like, you know, and make up my mind. Am I interested? Am I not? Because look, the UK is not for everybody, let me tell you, because some people, it doesn't work out for them. So this is an amazing opportunity. If, take it like a paid internship, you know, in the UK where you're going to be paid to experience the place, to see, you know, because when you're here, obviously you can move around, you're free, you know, because it's a work visa, basically so it is an opportunity for you to explore the country that's what i say to members of my private coaching program look at this as an opportunity for you to move to the uk and see what it's about so like i've said the uk government has also said that they want decent accommodation for these workers because as you know some you know, companies have the tendency to just take trashy accommodation, for example. When I say trashy, I mean, it's not that bad, but it is not really the best of accommodation. So the government has said that for this year, they want really top class accommodation for these workers. So if you're recruiting people from overseas, you need to be able to give them decent accommodation, which again is fantastic because this visa is going to come with accommodation. Yes, you know, most of them you have to pay, but the price is very, very low compared to renting a house normally in the UK, which means that not only are you going to get a house guaranteed when you're moving to the UK, but you're also 
going to have a very low price to pay for that particular accommodation and also it's going to be very decent and the best thing also is that most of these you know houses are very close to where you're working which means that you don't need public transport to you know to get to work or you don't need lift you don't need to buy a car which also saves you a lot of money here in the uk because look for those of us that are here for example cost you know transportation costs are very high me for example i work one hour away from where i live so if you imagine driving an hour to work every day it costs me about three to four hundred pounds a week you a month just traveling to work and back so that's a lot of money imagine you having to save that so again the government wants to make sure that these seasonal workers are moved to the UK through this particular visa on skilled workers. They are treated with the utmost dignity that they rightfully so deserve because you're coming to this country to offer a service that is not otherwise available. So the government has said they're going to be looking out for any company that is ill-treating its workers and they're going to be taking away those contracts from them. And look, this is something that is absolutely amazing because again, last year, there were so many you know, cases of abuse where workers were, were being charged, you know, thousands of pounds by some of these recruiters, you know, to be able to, you know, just get them jobs. And then when they even got to the UK, they didn't really get the job. So the government is like, look, we don't want this happening. These people are offering an amazing service. So again, you need to look out for that. So if you don't have your passport, you need to go ASAP and have your passport done. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you've already got your passport, leave it in the comment section and say, look, my office, I've got my passport ready. And yes, I'm 100% going to implement. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, Look, I don't know what you're still doing because you don't really want to be a stranger on here. I want you to hit that subscribe button right now. Turn on that notification button so you're the first person to be notified every single day when I drop a new video on here. And yes, I do drop a new video on here every single day. So like I've said, you know, the news, 40,000, 45,000 visas already approved. That's already 15,000 more than last year. But most importantly, the government is willing for an extra 10,000 if needed. So when recruitment starts, they're going to see how the harvesting season is and then decide from there. So if you're somebody who is keen on moving to the UK on the unskilled worker pathway, like I said, this is 100% for you. Don't wait until the season is over, recruitment stops. Like I've got people who are contacting me like, oh, Melvis, you know what about harvesting fruit and veg and this? And I'm like, you know, where have you been? You know, they've recruited people, you know, over 30,000 people. They're already in the UK. What have you been doing? So the new season for 2023 is what i'm talking about now so there's a very short window for recruitment and look thousands of people are recruited the people who are ready are going to get the jobs if you're procrastinating you're hanging around like oh i don't know what to do or you know you need to be proactive in the process and that's why i'm here to tell you so if you're enjoying this content i want you to like the video because it lets me know that you're enjoying content like this and obviously i should do more but most importantly if you want to get this information to make sure it's not missed, you're not relying on the crazy yo-yo YouTube algorithm, then you want to check the comment section below to join my newsletter so that when I send that information, look, you're going to be the first to know. Mm -hmm. You don't want to miss out on info that is so important. What do you think about this, you know, particular visa? Are you keen on it? Are you going to apply? You know, have you got any questions about it? Again, just leave them in the comment section below and I'm going to join you on there. If you're keen on getting my support, you know, my personalized, individualized tailored support for yourself on how to go about things, then check the about section of this YouTube channel and you're going to see a link to join my private coaching program. Look, it's not free, but it's very affordable. Again, thank you. Bye for now. Keep watching the videos.